What? And look at Cro Sir, there is a fire literally right next to you. <laughs> his parents ruined his birthday. It has been a while since I've gotten to play my Sims 4 series here on YouTube. And if you know anything about the Sims 4 series, you know that this is my baby because I get to do all the fun storytelling and character creating. And that's what I really like. That's what I really like. So if you're into that, you need to keep watching. It's been a while, but in this episode, I get to age my son in, up into a teenager. So I get to have a lot more fun playing the game. And I'm excited about that. If you like Sims 4 storytelling and stuff like Claire Siobhan, if you like, maybe not Ashley plays cause she's very, Ashwar plays, she's very chill. She's very aesthetic. Her videos are very just like, they're a mood, they're a vibe. I am not a mood or a vibe. I am loud and ridiculous. So I'm a little bit ridiculous and I'm a, a very non-aesthetic person. If you like sim storytelling type videos, if you wanna get into some characters, some story, watch a fun little let's play, something to just relax and eat your snacks and chill out with, let's get into, I've been reincarnated as a sim. The vibes in here right now, the vibes in here right now. Look at Mama CL playing her little guitar, Christian gaming. You winning, son? I think Corolla just got home. Or maybe we got some money. Look at Serenity, all grown up into a child. Little Sona, sad because, probably because her daddy left her. Aww. So in this episode, oh, she came out to say hi to her dad, but Crollo is so pissed and annoyed. But look at him, he's going straight in to take care of Sona because he is a father, okay? He is a father. And I love that about him. That's my man, that's my baby. Aww, that's so cute. Picked her up and put her right back down. So, in today's episode, there's a couple things that we need to do. First, first, first. Also, you may notice that I've done some decorations. Okay, since we've had money from Crollo's heist in the previous episode, I did a few decorations to make the house more homey. We've got a lot of work to do and we've got a very long way to go, but I'm digging the vibes. <laughs> I'm digging the vibes in here. Like I would live very comfortably in this home. One thing I wanna do is I wanna paint this drywall. Can I paint it like black or something? I don't like that it's just there. Paint it like this or something? Yeah, like I don't really wanna see that. <laughs> Another thing we've got to do this episode is age up Christian. It's his time. It's his moment. It's time for him to become a teenager. It may seem like I'm speeding along a little bit and technically I kind of am. He has three days until he ages up. So let's just make the most out of him being a child by making him clean out the spoiled food. Do a little bit of chores. You can't just stay and play the game all day. He's not even listening to me. Also, CL, you have to go to work. Bye girl, bye girl, bye girl. How late are we? It's fi oh, an hour. I'm very excited about the EP that's coming out, the romance EP. It's called uh, The Sims 4 Love Struck. It's the new expansion pack that kind of dives deeper into... Hey, Crollo, what you doing, Poppy? Oh, okay. You Did you bring my baby out here? Are you showing her? Are you showing her how to do some push-ups? It's like this is how you get strong, like dad. And she's just like, I. That's not. Can you repair this, Crollo? Please and thank you. What was I saying? <laughs> you are not gonna sit here and eat cake. You're not gonna sit here and eat cake. You're not gonna sit here and eat cake. I will be throwing that away. Do I have a? Oh, I do have a trash can in here. Oh, okay. But anyway, yeah, Christian's birthday. Very excited about it because the kids are boring and it's it's time for him to uh, have a funner life. And the new EP is coming out and he won't be an adult by then, but I'll be able to maybe use it for Crollo and CL. The only thing that I'm worried about y'all, only thing I'm afraid of with that EP is that I use a lot of mods in my game. I use Wicked Whims. I'm gonna get away from that, that's loud. I use Wicked Whims, I use UI Cheats, I use Slice of Life, I use the Relationship and Pregnancy mod, I think it's called, by Lumpino. I use the First Impressions by Lumpino. I use a lot of different mods and stuff. And these mods help make my game very fun. It makes it, you know, a game that I like and that I enjoy and I feel like I'm playing a game that feels more full and I don't really know if that EP is going to give me those same feelings and it's gonna break all of my mods, I'm 100% sure. So I might hold off on it until Christian ages up. There's no rush to buy expansion packs, okay? 
So, you know, we're going to take it easy. Oh, Carlo's going to go pee pee. I don't believe. Mm -hmm. I don't <laughs> I don't have streamer mode on. Carlo, can you can you repair this, please? I feel like you wasn't listening to me. Also, he you didn't you didn't wash your hands there. What's my baby doing? She's sad because she feels left behind. It's probably from CL. Also, her little toy thingy is still broken. Also, my baby need to pee. Can you help her? Oh, never mind. What I'll have Crollo do after he does this is make some food for the family. The family need to eat. Okay, so one thing that I noticed, I will say I did try to record an episode of this, but I was having so many problems with my mic. Um, I'm currently not having those problems because I just completely uninstalled the software that was ca causing me those issues. So hopefully the mic sounds okay. But anyways, um, she is having a a feeling of insecurity. Yeah, fear of being inferior because out of nowhere, Christian started like <laughs> showing out and like trying to be better than her and like, you know, trying to show out in front of his parents, which is a very weird development to have right before you turn into a teenager. Like he cares all of the sudden, whereas he didn't used to care. So anyway, this little girl, she wants to work hard in school. She wants to prove to not only her parents, but also her brother, that she is the more intelligent and focused child because, she, you know, she doesn't want to be inferior, as you can see right here. Help with homework? I didn't even make him do that. Good job, Crollo. Oh, good job, girl. She's done with her homework. I wanted Crollo to help her work on this, but honestly, it's getting very late. And by late, it's only about to be 10 o'clock, but she's little. She needs to go to sleep. What is going on? Tummy troubles? Jesus Christ. <laughs> CL, well, I am lactose intolerant for real, for real. And I do always have tummy trouble. So it really is a little bit on brand for me, but it's just like, girl, I am so excited about this y'all. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to play with a teenager. We can go to school with him. We can make friends with him. We can, we can, we can expand on his friendships with Kilua, with Gum, with Genevieve. I don't know how long Karapika is still gonna be a teen. Oh, he'll be a teen actually for a while until like before he ages up. I think everyone is right around the, yeah, they're gonna age up around the same time. So I'm still upset about Christian and his mom having bad compatibility. That still hurts my heart. It says, based on their preferences, these Sims have bad compatibility. Their affinity from the start won't be great, but it could certainly be worse. While it'll be a challenge for them to grow close, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not worth trying. And we are gonna try because these is my babies and I love my babies, okay? I love all of my kids. I think the fun part of playing The Sims is like watching your generations grow, you know? Generation to generation, like we gonna be grandparents, me and Crollo. We're gonna get old. Ooh, she down here eating. Ooh, that look good. Is it good, CL? Take another bite. Mm-hmm. Yum, yum, now. I might go about adjusting some of the lifespan so we have more time because eventually there's gonna be like different households and I wanna be able to play in different households like when Christian grows up, when he, <laughs> you nasty girl. And you gonna giggle about it? Take your funky butt back to sleep. We won't just be leaving Sim CL and Sim Crollo in the dust either. I want them to accomplish all of their goals, which for CL, it'll definitely be to um, reach level 10 in her career. Honestly, she could perform her little routine for Crollo <laughs> while he's working on books. I want her to reach level 10 in her career and also to fulfill her their aspirations. That's what I wanna do for them. For Crollo too, I want him to be able to like hang out with his little phantom troop. Also, another thing we need to do for CL is get her some damn friends. Why we don't know nobody but the kids and our man. We don't know nobody. <laughs> so we need to get some friends. I believe I put someone out there. Oh, Christian sweetheart. Do you see what I'm talking about? This is not his school project. He took his sister's school project. That's crazy, Christian. He's like, I want to get all the credit for this. Cause I get praise from my parents when I do good things. Like, oh my gosh, Christian. Oh, my baby lost his tooth. But yeah, when I did record, like when I tried to record and the audio messed up, that was a, a thing. Like, Crollo, you're not about to go downstairs and eat cake. Honestly, get that cake out. Get that cake out of my refrigerator. That's not how we're gonna be living. 
That's not how we're gonna be living. Yeah, put that straight in the dishwasher. You can eat something else, eat this. Another thing that I noticed y'all that actually has me so concerned <laughs> is that Serenity has a lower relationship with her parents than Christian does. And she has a not great relationship with him at all. Like she has a higher relationship with Sona. So like you can see, can I not see the percentages? I can, okay. So look, she's got 48 with her mom. I think she's closer to her dad. Yeah, 58 with her dad. But look, she wants to be close to her mom. Christian, maybe because he's older, she has 56, he has 56 with his mom. And look, 82 with his dad. And his relationship with Sona is not as good as hers is. So I feel like Serenity's just a little, <laughs> she's a little left behind and it's crazy because we assumed, at least I assumed that that was Christian. So I really want her to like work on her relationship with her parents, but it shouldn't be her that's doing it. It should be them. I feel really bad. Okay, I got a present that I think is dumb. I wanna trade it with a friend or give it back. Can I do that? Um, I don't think Krilla would care. <laughs> He'd be like, sure, give it to someone else. Whatever, don't care. Whereas I would be like, boy, you better keep that damn gift. Prolo needs to start writing a book for work. He's already at the top of his career, so it's not as important to like get him up there, but we're still gonna do it nonetheless. We do want him to finish his aspiration. So he only needs to publish one more book until he moves on to the next thing. And then yeah, see all we need to start taking her on some dates. Take big mama on some dates. How are we doing big mama? Oh, you're done, you're good, you're good. Enjoy your life, baby girl. And the kids are off to school. Christian, you've only got a few more days. You've only got a few more days of elementary before you become a teen. And I cannot wait to age him up, have a little birthday for him, and to just put some fun CC on him and develop his little personal style. I can't wait. What is happening here? Sona! You broke it? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Okay, we need to, um, yeah, we need to discipline that firmly. Hold up. <laughs> Got a name Carlos book. I do it after League moves or Hunter Hunter OST songs. So this one, it's a fantasy book. We're gonna be calling it The Relent. Oh shit. <laughs> the Relentless Storm. Now discipline that little girl. Don't be tearing up in my house. Yeah, get it together. Also, go eat them garlic noodles. I don't know whose food that is, <laughs> but go eat it. Big Mama is on a jog. I don't know why I'm calling her Big Mama. <laughs> CL is on a jog. She needs to get her fitness. Honestly, I was about to make her jog again. She needs to get on her fitness. One thing I really enjoy is going for walks. It's like my thing. It is probably the only amount of like exercising or working out even, can't even really call it that, but it's the only amount of it that I like, okay? Well, I do actually, actually, when I go to the gym, I like like arm machines. What does this be doing, arm and back? That I, I like that stuff and I like cardio. I don't like to do nothing else hard. <laughs> okay, now that you're all stinky, can you hop in the sh Oh, the maid's in there. Okay, use another kid's shower. Christian is two days until aging up. So we need to really enjoy, baby, you are stinky and you're halfway into this built-in that I put here. Isn't it cute? Let me know in the comments if you like the new additions to our little cozy little living room. I feel like I could probably clutter it up a little bit better. I'm not good with clutter. And I don't really love clutter, but I know that sometimes it makes builds look a little better. Oh, she's gonna sing a song to her mom. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, I wanna see it. Oh. Aw, that's cute. That's my baby. Also, Krolo's off to work. I don't make him work hard or anything because he's already at the top of the career and it's really not that important, even though we do need the money. Another thing I'm thinking is, let me know in the comments if you think that I should get Christian a part-time job. Like, do we believe Honestly, I don't know where I stand on making teenagers, like making them work. I don't think Krolo and CL would make him work. And I don't know how independent Christian seems. His character, I'm a little curious about right now. Because you see how he's trying to stun on my, my daughter and how all of a sudden he wants to be seen as the good kid. I don't understand what's, what's happening there. Maybe that would push him to get a job. Like, hey, I can help out around the house. Some things Renity can't do because she's a kid. <laughs> 
I think that'd be kind of funny. Also, this is a change of pace. Usually every episode has a uh, Crollo cleaning the baby or a baby. I am extremely proud of CL for cleaning this bathtub after giving a baby the bath. This is something I don't know if I would actually do, but you know what? If I had babies and stuff, I probably would. My whole personality type changes around kids. Also, CL, do you see? Do you see? Okay, fans have started an online petition to bring back one of Crollo's most beloved characters. Even though he's been dead for six books, Crollo wants to be, please his readers. Uh, we're going to ignore that. It's an online petition. Fans are irritated at first and then completely forget it ever happened. Meanwhile, Crollo invents a new character that could be even more popular than the first. Yeah, baby, don't compromise. My baby is tearing up. Another thing to remember about Sona is she's clingy, destructive, a light sleeper, and she hates being carried. She's got all of the worst little traits she does, and she's just gonna act bad. That's literally just her vibe. Aww. Aww. This is cute. See how you're improving. Aww. She got the enduring sentiment. Ciel just wants to be once the best for Sona and thinks she is so wonderful. I think she's wonderful too, CL. Grime time from cleaning. She did not enjoy that. Oh. CL, you're being so cuddly towards her. That's so cute. Can we actually can we teach her? Is there anything we can teach her? Oh, they just keep hugging. Oh, teach her to talk. Help her out. I don't know if she knows how. Should Serenity invite over classmate Pierce? This is the second time this little boy has come to my house. Uh, no need to make room on the refrigerator door. Her work is merely satisfactory. Oh, Serenity. Christian is done. He's doing satisfactory work, but his teachers at Landgrab think he could be doing a little more with a little extra effort. Oof. Hey, Pierce. Okay, so I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, why don't we all go to the park? Let's, oh, actually, we will orchestrate this through Christian because he's got more friends. Let's all head to the park. We'll take our little sister. We'll take Gon, Genevieve, Kilawa. Let's get Nanami. And let's just go to the park. Like I said, Christian's got two more days to be a child. It's time to enjoy his final days before he becomes a teenager and gets pimply and annoying and hormones. Another thing, I personally, I don't love the idea of like going to different, I don't know what it is about me, but like going to different cities, like different like worlds, Delso Valley or I was gonna say Bridgeport or San Mai Shun or, or like things like that. I don't know why I feel a little weird about it because I'm just like, oh, it feels so unrealistic. I wish that there was more limits and it costed money to go to different worlds in The Sims 4. I don't know if there's a mod like that, but I would really like that. If you're hungry, look, I've got the perfect thing for you. You can go order you some food. Go get you some salmon maki rolls. That's what I would do. Oh, Leorio, you, you, you good? Everything all right? I'm gonna have Serenity meet little Genevieve. This is, this is Christian's little friend that he met at the park <laughs> one time. I'm gonna have Serenity meet her. Only thing I don't know is when Genevieve is gonna age up. Okay, oh, Serenity just befriended a nature enthusiast. I didn't know she was a nature enthusiast, hell yeah. I guess if that's, if you think that's cool. Oh, you wanna play make-believe with her? Now she already wants to call her her favorite. That's interesting. I feel like Christian would probably find it a little annoying that Serenity is here making friends with his friends. There's like a little underlying rivalry thing going on here that I think is very, very hilarious. But my baby needs some friends. She ain't got no friends. Meanwhile, Christian is getting closer to his friends. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> oh, wow. You just gonna do him like that? This scene, I don't know why. This is a, a, a cemetery, I think, a gravesite. Oh, look at Gonus in here. What is he doing? This reminds me of Tokyo Revengers. Like all I can think of is Mikey making his little speech up here while like all of the Tokyo Manji gang watches. I think it would be so fun to include Mikey and Draken and stuff in this little story. Maybe I'll do that. Once Christian becomes a teenager, I'll add them to the game. Serenity is just still here talking. Now she's friends. Is she making friends with Emmy? Oh my gosh. 
She's doing a great job socializing. It looks like, oh, Pierce. What's up, Serenity? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Pierce, that's weird. Because we're children. We are children, Pierce. I just don't feel like that's something we should just really just be doing. So I'm gonna have to say no. Oh, Cam. I, I heard you became friends with Genevieve King. She's pretty cool. Who is Cam? Is that another one of our friends from school? Oh, Billy, Genevieve. Okay, so there's some little girls. I wanna make a club that Serenity can be in. Let's call them the, we're gonna call them little butterflies. Right, and we can use this. And I just think I wanna add some of these little girls to the club. We can add Nanami, she seems to be friends with her too. Even though Nanami feels a little bit more rough around the edges, I don't really wanna add Pierce because he's a little strange. Actually, let's add Pierce because he's a little strange. <laughs> I think it'd be very cute for her to have her own little club of friends and they can do little fun things together. One thing that seems really important to her is doing homework. So let's make sure that's... <laughs> Let's make sure that's there. Playing with toys could also be one because they're still pretty young kids. I don't know though. Some of these kids are gonna age up into teenagers, which means they'll just be kicked out because I'm gonna make it like kids only for now. I think that's cute. No club hangout. We don't really need one just yet. Who the hell is this? This is a teen? See, this is why I'd be deleting random townies, because what the hell he got going on? But it's 8.30 now, so y'all need to head home, children. That's enough playing. Christian really didn't get to stay. Actually, you stay. He didn't really get to talk to his friend Genevieve. So let's let's chat it up with Genevieve. I'm gonna ask her how she feels about Serenity. Like, I saw you talking to my sister earlier. Like, what do you think about her? Isn't she kind of annoying? Like, I feel like we've had this conversation before. What do you think? Oh, she likes her. I like Serenity. She's pretty cool. What is wrong with you, little boy? Ate my money. Oh, his money got stuck in the vending machine. I'm gonna need to put up one of those little curfew boards in my home so that little kids don't stay out all night. My poor boy is missing a tooth. He spent his entire childhood missing teeth. I'm glad he has friends. I'm glad he feels close to his friends. He does not know Leorio and Karapika at all, but that'll change because Karapika is a teen and he's about to be in high school with him. Let me check, when is this little girl aging up? Oh, she's gonna be aging up too, around the exact same time. So I feel like, let me make sure that Little Butterflies stays for now. Let's make it invite only. Let's make sure that it stays for now for children because it'll be very strange for the teenage kids to be in the group with the little kids. Even though Serenity, I'm pretty sure, is like the only person who's gonna be in this club after like a couple of days. Oh, Christian has a good reputation. I'm surprised and proud of you, boy. Now it's 10 o'clock, get your little butt home. Bye, 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 see you later. Sona is headed to go chat with her sister who has she has a great relationship with and I'm very, Happy about that. I don't even know when they built all that relationship. <laughs> I should probably go back and watch the previous episodes. Honestly, it's been so long. But look, she came here to watch her. Oh, look at her being silly. She's like, don't you see I'm doing my homework? Like my baby looks worried. Sona is so cute. Oh, you make her cry? You're just a musical little baby. You love singing. Languishing skills, being an overachiever. Okay, when did she become an overachiever though? I'm very confused. Is that her, this slumber party animal? Achieve gold in a slumber party if she's never done a slumber party. I don't understand how this is all fully completed for her, but I guess I also don't know how she's an overachiever. I don't know where that's coming from. Maybe from all of this. I don't know, but anyway, the girl wants to, she wants to increase her skills. Sona went to wake up her brother. Girl, who awoke my slumber? She's gonna wake up her sister too. Sona, why? She just went to sleep, baby, no, please. Please. Crollo's in there dookieing. <laughs> Look at Crollo, you nasty, funky boy. Can I discipline her for this? No, she just allowed to tear up my house. She took herself to sleep. Also, Crollo, can you fix that? My baby just gonna have a broken uh, dollhouse for her whole life. I find it hilarious how Crollo wants to teach Christian how to ride a bike as if that boy don't got school. Y'all need to get up and go. 
Y'all need to get up and go. Oh, love day is tomorrow. Oh, geez. My son's birthday is on love day. Canonically, my, my son's birthday is on Valentine's Day. <laughs> See how you suck. You're not as funny as me. Girl, ain't nobody in here. How are you nervous? Yeah, you're trash. You, you suck. I think it'd be really cool for if Christian's birthday, we just take him to like a different world. You know, I don't really like traveling in different worlds when I'm just like having the kids like go to the park or like go to something. But I feel like his parents could, you know, take him somewhere different, take him to a different world. And we can find something to do over there. Maybe bring a couple of friends, bring a cake and just have the birthday like that. Okay, and the kids are back. Christian is satisfactory. They're both satisfactory. They are not not doing not doing splendidly in school. How close are we? Oh, but she's close to becoming a B student. Oh, so is Christian. Honestly, surprisingly, because he has not been doing his homework. Why don't you watch your mommy's routine? Of course she thinks a fart is funny. That's what kids are like. <laughs> She's like, you're doing great, mom. This is awesome. You're so bad at this. I don't even know why your daughter is cheering you on. You really are terrible. Carlo, I seem to recall you have a book to finish also. So do that. I know, th I know this little boy is not riding his bike in my house. Are you riding your bike in my house? Christian, why? Why would you do that? Why would you start doing this? Are you serious? <laughs> you're gonna ride your bike through your sister? See, oh, this is taking you so long because you're so bad at this. You're so bad at this. Please get level three already. Okay, good, good, good. And now we can stop and put you out of your misery, girl. Put you out of your damn misery. Oh, he's losing confidence. I'll never. Christian feels, Christian feels like a failure and isn't sure he'll ever overcome it. Boy, why do you feel like a failure? Nobody can do anything in this house without you being like, I'm failing. You mad because your sister was doing your, her homework and you wasn't? Good job. Okay, now he needs to complete three bestsellers. Can you finish the book I was telling you to write? I think it's time for a little bit of love in this house, okay? It's time to flirt with our girl. She over here feeling flirty, look at her. And you know, I think last episode or the episode before that, I was like, you know what? We need to have more time for them. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna do the date tomorrow. We gonna, we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day with our boot. Look at how handsome Carlito is. He's handsome. That's my handsome man. Ooh, look at... Look at him, y'all. Look at CL. This is exactly what she want to hear. Tell her how much you love her, Carlo. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're kissing her nose a little bit, but that's all right. That's all right. Hand in the bonnet, but that's all right. That's all right. He love his wife. We're going to finish it up with some woohoo. No babies. No babies. Matter of fact, does he have birth control? Let's actually, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Condoms. Yes, Crollo, you're gonna need these. We not trying to make no babies up in here. So stick these in here. Yep, mm-hmm. And I hope you know how to use them. Unpack, go do your thing. Oh, they're excited. They are excited. Have a good time. <laughs> baby is just down here she stink we can look after you sona <laughs> why does she look so empty inside is everything all right baby girl you glitched a little bit it isn't an episode until you see crollo bathing a baby this is what he does best he's father of the year oh no this is the worst time Worst time to enter the clingy phase. And who's his favorite caregiver, you may ask? It's most likely Crollo. <laughs> I'm so surprised that, again, that Serenity, I mean, Sona, this baby, I'm so surprised that she's clingy because she is the least clingy baby ever. She doesn't care about us at all, it seems like. <laughs> she's more likely to wake up her siblings than she is to wake up us up. Oh, you like this toy, huh? What you playing with? You, you know this is your last day of being a child, right? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, a man. It's Valentine's Day. He likes romantic spirit and going on a date. 
because he's in a romantic relationship, of course. CL likes everything. Y'all are gonna go on a date. While the kids are at school, it is the it is the perfect time. There is no better time to go on a date because Christian's birthday is gonna have to come after they get out of school. Kids, get out of my house. Bye, bye, have a good time at school. Exchanging secret Valentine's Day cards. For Valentine's Day, Christian decided to handcraft a card for their crush, complete with a, the pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers and dinosaurs because who doesn't love dinosaurs christian just needed to decide if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their covey hmm. i think he would boldly deliver it and i'm gonna say he's delivering it to genevieve because that's his little crush christian's crush didn't even know he existed she knows this was an opportunity in the heat of the moment christian walked past the cubby delivered the card directly into the hands of the most popular kid in school after having it declared the most awesome card ever christian was invited to hang out with the popular kids at recess and lunch whenever he wanted doesn't that make christian a popular kid too interesting that you say that so we're going to we're gonna rework that. Obviously, Genevieve knows who Christian is, but I just wanna say that that's his little crush. Feeling a lot better that, that she knows. She knows. She knows, she knows. Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. So let's not waste any time. CL, can you please? Okay, so this is the problem that me and you have, girl. You are always, you and Crollo are forever in y'all's draws. I need you to get a shower really quick because I need you and Crollito to go on a date. Also, Crollo, can you buy, can you buy her like a flower or something? Actually, why don't you get her one of these cameras that you have? He has one too. Um, I needed him to get one so that he could take a picture of the kids. Also, I need to get a picture of Christian as a child before he ages up. I think we should go to this little lounge. I I, up, I downloaded a renovated version of this lounge off of the gallery. Let's go to the lounge. I think this is a really chill place. There won't be a whole lot of people. It's in our neighborhood because we're gonna go leave. I think this is literally right next to their house. We're gonna go leave and take Christian somewhere fun for his birthday. So when I got sent to daycare, that's literally not our problem. Oh, there is so much going on in here. So we're gonna get us some Morgan, drinks. Let's talk to our man. Let's talk about our marriage. Let's ask him about his day. Sir, can you stop talking to us? Don't you see that we're on a date? We need to get flirty. I'm gonna need y'all to really start flirting with each other. Ask him something crazy. Be like, oh. This man is in introducing himself to my Sims during their date. Like, can you move? The way they looking at each other. See, I was like, that man needs to shut the hell up. Carla, what's the matter? Blue Feeling G. pukey. <laughs> Queasy, oh, he's drunk and he's a sick drunk? Frollo, this is very inconvenient. If you need to throw up, go throw up. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Oh, good God. Not feeling this song. <laughs> CL said, I don't like this Latin pop music. Are they both feeling pukey? Oh, this date is not going well. <laughs> Crollo just puked. Adorable disarray. Every giggle and stumble from CL is charming. Being this drunk at two o'clock is crazy business. Offer him a rose. Oh, y'all are doing bad. <laughs> Is this what happens when adults go on dates? Can you give her this? There's people literally trying to talk to us. Can you give her a camera? And can people leave her alone? Carlo is tired. This date is going so bad. Carlo, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? It's saying you're not, you haven't been socializing with her, even though I feel like we have been socializing. Why are you doing all this from up there, Crollo? Come down off the stage. Oh, is this how it becomes? Is this how it becomes? I don't know what to do. Oh God, he's gonna throw up again. Crollo. They both gonna throw up. Oh. Oh, let's end the date. Let's end the date. Go home. Oh, it went so poorly. What festival is in town? Spice? These people cannot go to the Spice Festival. These people need to go straight home. What's going on here? Wait, whose bladder failed? I think Crollo's did. I think he peed -pee on himself. He did. Crollo, you sloppy drunk. He's about to pass out again. Oh, God. <laughs> Go home, please, go home.
Not his wife just straight up left him. Left him for dead. She was like, find your own way home. So it's 9.30 o'clock on my son's birthday. If we don't get him a cake, CL, can you please cook this boy a cake? Please. You're not even a good cook, but just make him a chocolate cake. We did not celebrate this boy's birthday at all. Your parents got home. Your parents got drunk. Curl out, sleep, bed, now. My baby is tearing up the house. CL, cake now, please. Cake now. Christian, just you wait. Just you wait. We did not forget about your birthday. We didn't forget. Just hold off. Oh my God, CL, CL. Oh my God. <laughs> Why? Why? I'm sorry, Christian. What? And look at Cro Sir, there is a fire literally right next to you. <laughs> his parents ruined his birthday. Okay, Crollo, I'm gonna help you out because you are suffering. Can you please, please, please? Oh God, why? I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I cannot deal with these people. I cannot deal with these people. I wanna end the recording now. I wanna end it now. Can you please make him a chocolate cake? See, what the hell are you doing? Oh, she's got the baby. Oh God, looming dread, fear of fire. Now she's afraid of fire. She's having a bad time. She's just so unhappy. Sean Lark is here. He can come in. Crollo, I need you to set that down. This cake, we're gonna add some birthday candles to that. Christian, we will take you out for your birthday. I promise, please come out come down and blow out this can this cake. See, we don't have time for this. We don't have time for this singing. We don't have time for this singing. Oh, son, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. My fault. Christian aged up. Okay, so I gave him a kleptomaniac trait because Crollo is the leader of the Phantom Troop. For the next trait, I think I want to randomize it. So we're gonna spend three times. One, two, three. I am gonna say though, if I don't like this, I will change it. Let's see what he got. Materialistic. Um, I'm actually fine with that. I, I, I'm fine with that. Let's give him one of the new teen things. Live fast, maybe. Admired icon, goal oriented. I feel like he really only does the goal oriented stuff to like be against uh, Serenity. I feel like she's more likely to be goal oriented. For him, I think I'm gonna do live fast. Oh, I am so sorry for the horror and terror that your birthday was. I promise to take you somewhere fun. You can do something so fun for your birthday. We celebrating it on the weekend. It's Saturday. It's the perfect day to celebrate your birthday. Okay, so this is this is aged up uh, Christian. We're gonna actually do the create a sim and do his little birthday celebration with his friends. I'm gonna age them up too. We're gonna do that in the next episode. So if you liked this episode and all of the chaos and drama that just always tends to happen, in these Sims videos. Make sure you like this video, subscribe so that you don't miss a video in the future. I will see you all in the next one, bye.